first of all, we'll start with you, Sasha, because when you have a name of a character, Japonica, I wouldn't have <laughs> even read the script. I would have like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty sure I will not have a better character name in my career. Um, it was, it's, <laughs> she's a very interesting, complex person. Um, she is this runaway who's, her, her dad still thinks she's five. It's that kind of thing where, but she's, uh, she's a cocaine addict and she has this interesting relationship with Martin Short's character, Dr. Rudy. Um, and she has this past experience with uh, Joaquin's character, Doc, as well. So it's this really cool little um, storyline that's kind of thrown in there. Um, but you hear Japonica's name after that, which is kind of cool. It kind of fuels the next half of the movie. Um, but it was such an amazing experience, such an amazing character to play. There were so many different levels and um, shades to her character. Um, and so we spent a lot of really cool time making these scenes um, the way Paul wanted them to be. And it was very free and very organic. Um, and I was just honored to have that experience. Yeah. And I had the most straightforward character name, Jade, four letter word, boom. It's perfect. <laughs> However, she was quite a firecracker. Yeah. Come on, my yeah. God, you were fantastic. Thank you. I don't know how you kept a straight face through half your scene, seriously. Wow. <laughs> I, I just I just pinched my the the skin on the side of my thigh every time I was about to laugh. It's a good to, trick to to just keep me focused. Mm -hmm. No, I I felt because I this was my first movie. I didn't feel like I had the uh, I had earned the right to mess up or or, or crack <laughs> up and ruin a take. So I was just laser focused. I I did not crack. You were great. You really, I commend you. Oscar <laughs> for that, my Thank dear. Because walking into that massage parlor and looking at those signs, I could stop I laughing. I just love when you like open the little door. <laughs> I love that. That's the one thing I wish I could keep from that that film. The door. The door with the little. Yeah. But let's talk about Joaquin. Wow, you know, what an amazing actor he is. What was it like for you to work with him? He is such a wonderful person. He is so talented and hardworking and sensitive and humble. And he just makes you feel comfortable without even trying. Um, and I just love that he is that way because he is such an A-list that he could be so many different things mm -hmm. and he is so likable. He remembers everyone's names. He's got such a great energy on set. Um, and so to work with such a legend like that and to work with Paul and Martin was such a great experience. And I, I just, I learned so much from Joaquin. Um, I'm just thinking about this one time. <laughs> it's so small and so stupid, but I ran lines with him. And afterwards, I was like, I just ran lines with Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It's awesome. It crazy, yeah. yeah. And why is it that everybody just would clamor to work with Paul Thomas Anderson? What is it about this man? I think it's just because he... he you will never get an experience like this. I don't mm -hmm. think I'm ever going to get another experience like this. And it's my first movie, you know? So uh, unless I get to work with him again, everything else is just like down. I think it's also that he, he, doesn't, he doesn't stop until he's in love with what he's doing. He's got this vision, but it's loose enough that he lets you play. Um, and as an actress, that is such an amazing thing. Um, but we have the freedom to create something and to create our character. Um, into something that we want, but when he loves it, it's like this great energy and he great lets you feeling. Play. He just yeah. lets you play and to do things and to really be an actor. 